There are more than 87,000 visitors that come to Calvert Marine Museum every single year, and you could be one of them thanks to today's Midday Vacay. We have historic lighthouses. We have a historic oyster house. There's a ton to see when you plan a trip to the Calvert Marine Museum. The property is about a 15-acre campus here. It's right on the water in beautiful Solomon's Island, Maryland. Jeff Murray is the director of this small museum overflowing with grand local treasures. The Calvert Marine Museum is a celebration of the paleontology, the estuarine and biology, so the biology of the Chesapeake Bay and the maritime history of the Chesapeake Bay and areas local to here. The museum is broken up into three different themes that all come together in a fun and interactive way. The paleontology is the, the prehistoric. So we have the world famous Calvert Cliffs right nearby, 35 miles of cliffs that are slowly eroding and as they erode, the fossils that are in there are, are, are mostly from the Miocene period, which is eight to 10 million years ago. So we get things like dolphin skulls and turtles, all kinds of things come out of there. So we have a, a, a ton of fossils. We've actually done a life-size uh, skeleton of Megalodon, which is the world's largest historic predator and uh, is a shark that lived eight to 10 million years ago out in the bay and was much bigger than the great white sharks of today. And then we have the maritime history of the bay as well. The boats, uh, the oysters, the bug eye boats, the skipjacks that were part of the oyster fleet. In fact, before you even walk inside, the museum experience is meeting you outside as well. From Wednesday through Sunday, our historic bug eye, the William B. Tennyson, takes people out on the river for cruises. So it's a wonderful thing to see. It's an extra seven bucks, but it's well worth the trip. Tickets cost $9 and under. Another win? You know how when you go to the museum and you constantly have to tell your kids don't touch? Well, not the case here. It's actually encouraged in many areas. While we do have a couple of uh, different types of stingrays in here, like the cow nose ray that's swimming by right now. And so kids yeah. and adults can come right. here and, and pet right. them? This is very popular. Uh, we do allow the visitors to actually touch them. Perry Hampton is the curator of estuarine biology at the museum and was kind enough to take me on a tour. All right, so where are we headed? So this is the discovery room. Okay. And we have all kinds of fun activities in here, mostly for kids, but also for adults. There are many lighthouses to play in, fossil digs to explore, terrific terrapins and turtles, but the otters. Look at them. The otters know how to put on a show even at feeding time. What does he want, food? Oh, yeah. Should we feed him? Would you like to go back and Can do we? that? Sure, absolutely. Let's feed him. Yeah. All right. All right. Which I quickly learned could get a little out of hand. Don't keep keep your fingers. Oh yeah. my goodness see, gracious! See what she does? Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of keep your fingers okay. back. You don't want her to bite I bite do your not fingers. I want her to bite my fingers. Yeah. Okay, so, so just, like this. Yeah. Here, I'll just I'll do, the, do the first, first one. one. Okay. Yeah. So just like that. Okay. Oh my goodness. And then goodness. let me give him one. There okay. we go. So that she's not overly yep. eager. Yeah. There we okay. go. Oh my god. <laughs> Something else that might make you jump a little bit, the megalodon skeleton replica Jeff mentioned at the beginning of our midday vacay. They are the, the ancestors of today's modern great white sharks, which are quite large. However, uh, they are still only about half the size of, uh, of what megalodon may have been uh, uh, 10, 15 million years ago. And That's kind of scary. It, 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 yes, uh, yeah, <laughs> for good reason. <laughs> it's a wonderful day experience because you can spend the whole day down here. And night. Yep, you can make your museum outing even more memorable with a sleepover at a museum-owned property that comes with its own giant nightlight. We uh, have the Cove Point Lighthouse Keeper's Cottage available for rent if you want to. It's 15 minutes away. It's a beautifully restored Keeper's Cottage. It's the oldest active lighthouse in the Chesapeake Bay. It's a great place to stay. Ready to plan your midday vacay to Calvert County and check out the museum? You can do so. Actually, check out their website first. Go to calvertmarinemuseum.com and start planning your trip. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.